Jamaica, the land of wood and water, golden beaches, lush mountains, vibrant culture. But what if it all changed? What if Jamaica became a land of fire? What if, instead of our usual warm tropical days, we faced an unbearable 50-degree Celsius inferno? A world where the heat was so relentless that the very air felt like a burning wall pressing down on your skin, where stepping outside for just minutes could be a death sentence. Would we survive? Jamaica's climate, a fragile paradise. Jamaica has always been warm, but our sun, our breeze, and our rain have worked together in balance. The island's average temperature falls between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, giving us the tropical climate we know and love. But things are changing. Over the last 30 years, temperatures have crept higher. The nights don't cool like they used to. The heat lingers. Our summers feel longer. It's easy to dismiss a few extra degrees here and there, but heat doesn't increase in a straight line. It builds. It traps moisture. It warps weather. It unleashes disasters we never expected. And if this trend continues, it's only a matter of time before our island is pushed to its limits. Jamaica at 50 degrees Celsius, a living nightmare. Right now, there are places in the world where 50 degrees Celsius is real. Kuwait, India, and parts of the Middle East. And their experience, brutal. At 50 degrees Celsius, the human body begins to fail. Sweat is no longer enough to cool you down. Your core temperature skyrockets. You feel dizzy, confused, the body shuts down, heat stroke sets in, and if you don't find relief, death follows. Now, imagine a 50 degrees Celsius Jamaica. Hospitals already struggle under normal conditions, but in this kind of heat, hundreds, maybe thousands, of people collapse from exhaustion. Elderly people, children, those with health conditions, gone. And it doesn't stop there. The collapse of agriculture. Crops have an upper limit. They thrive in certain temperatures. But when is it too hot? They fail. Bananas, sugarcane, coffee, wilted, dead. The soil itself dies, turning into dry, cracked wasteland. Food prices skyrocket. Farmers lose everything. Hunger spreads. And the heat doesn't just starve us, it burns. Jamaica on fire. Fires don't need much to start. A single spark in the dry heat, and entire communities could go up in flames. Forests gone, farms, ash, homes destroyed. Jamaica is not built for these conditions, and our infrastructure wouldn't survive either. The crumbling of infrastructure. Extreme heat attacks everything. Roads soften and crack. Buildings expand and break. Electrical grids fail under the crushing demand for cooling. Water pipes burst, and suddenly an entire country is left with no power. No roads, no running water. This isn't an exaggeration. It's happening elsewhere. We could be next. And while a sudden leap to 50 degrees Celsius is unlikely, climate change is slowly, steadily pushing us there. Climate change, the slow burning disaster. Jamaica doesn't need a single catastrophic event to fall apart. It's already happening piece by piece. Rising temperatures are melting our coastline, and sea levels are inching higher every year. Hurricanes grow stronger, ripping apart homes and businesses. The rainfall patterns shift, bringing droughts when we need rain, and floods when we don't. We may not wake up to 50 degrees Celsius tomorrow, but we're already watching the first signs of it creeping in. And once the heat takes hold, there's no turning back. Lessons from the hottest places on Earth. The Middle East and parts of Africa 
already live with extreme heat. Their governments have invested in survival, heat-resistant buildings, cooling strategies, and emergency response plans. But Jamaica isn't ready. We're not built for this kind of heat. Our homes trap warmth instead of deflecting it. Our energy systems aren't stable enough for mass cooling. Our water supply is already strained. Without preparation, we won't make it. What can Jamaica do? The good news? We still have time to fight back. And Jamaica is already taking steps. Solar and wind power are growing, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Tree planting efforts are restoring green spaces to cool urban areas. Disaster preparedness programs are helping communities prepare for the worst. But it's not enough. We need to triple our efforts, not next year, not next decade, but now. We need more reforestation. Trees cool cities. They protect farmland. They slow climate change. Stronger policies. Government must make climate adaptation a priority, not an afterthought. Minister Matthew Samuda, who controls the environment portfolio, is smart and understands the urgency. We expect him to act. He will convince his colleagues too, and the country at large, to come on board. Community action. Every individual can help. From saving energy, to reducing waste, to spreading awareness. This includes the media. Because here's the truth. If we wait until the crisis is right in front of us, it's already too late. Bonus facts. The hidden dangers of extreme heat. Number one. Heat kills more people than hurricanes, floods, and earthquakes combined. It's the deadliest force in nature. Number two. At 50 degrees Celsius, planes can't fly. The air becomes too thin for lift, meaning extreme heat could shut down entire airports. Number three. Extreme heat can damage your brain. Cognitive function declines. Your memory, reaction time, and decision-making abilities suffer. Number four. The ocean absorbs heat too. Warmer seas kill coral reefs, disrupt fish populations, and threaten Jamaica's fishing industry. The time to act is now. The worst mistake we can make is believing this isn't our problem. Jamaica is on the front lines of climate change. But we still have a choice. We can ignore the warnings and let climate change cripple our nation. Or we can rise to the challenge and fight for a sustainable future. Because the truth is, Jamaica doesn't have to burn. But if we wait too long, there will be nothing left to save. Follow our series on Jamaica vs. Climate Change. Please subscribe to our channel today if you haven't already. You can also check out other videos on this channel, Impacting Jamaica.